تَفُمْ مُرَاقَبَ In other words, do dhikr qalbi in the heart. Inside your heart, remember Allah. When you do dhikr, then you should definitely be grateful at the same time. And remember this hadith that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states that in the whole universe, amongst all the people, those people who I'm giving this opportunity, somebody I give kingdoms, according to his requirement I give him things. Whatever a person asks, I give to that person. And if you look at the, all those ni'mas, if you collect them and put them to one side, and one ni'mah, comparing that the dhikr of Allah in comparison, that's the greatest treasure. The remembrance of Allah. He is the most wealthy person. He is the richest person. The highest person. He is the most lofty person. And he is most closest to Allah. And he is most reliant and, and trustworthy. Who? That person who does the dhikr of Allah. He is honored that person. Most honored. Elevated. So think Allah's mercy upon me. Think for yourself that Allah has given me the ability to remember him. And biggest loser, the biggest loser, he is most far from Allah and most disliked by Allah. And most of all, Allah will make that person distant from him. Allah will take that person far from his mercy. And Allah will not pay attention to that person, that individual who runs away from the dhikr of Allah. Allah Ta'ala states that when that person is far from my dhikr, then he is far from me. And whoever is far from me, then he is further from everybody. So what a great mercy of Allah, generosity of Allah, that we are broken down. Whatever hal we are in, we are sinful, we're weak, we don't know how to do things, we have no knowledge of things. How should we do dhikr? We don't enjoy it. But we sit down, despite all of that. We sit down, we may fall asleep. We may get drowsy and lazy. We might try to run away and get out quickly, early. But may I be sacrificed on Allah's mercy. But Allah, even then you allow us to sit down. So do dhikrullah in your heart and remember Allah. Allah has given to us right now permission. Allah said to me, given us permission that you can remember me. Without Allah's permission, a leaf does not sway or move. So think, Allah is saying to me and you, remember me in your heart. Allah is saying, what a great generosity of Allah and mercy of Allah. So, empty your heart of the dunya, material things, pay attention to Allah, focus on Allah. And as much as you can, keep your attention towards Allah. Don't let any thought of the world, material things come in your heart. No person's thought should come into your mind. Try as far as possible, as much as possible, say Allah, Allah, Allah. Keep on saying it and keep thinking about Allah.